Hello, I'm Elizabeth Johnson with the Iowa Civil Rights Commission. Our agency's mission is to end discrimination within the state of Iowa. To achieve this goal, the Commission enforces the Iowa Civil Rights Act. This act protects Iowans from discrimination in the areas of housing, employment, public accommodation, education, and credit. This video is created in partnership with Embark and the Genesis Youth Foundation and focuses on the area of housing discrimination. In Iowa, it is unlawful to refuse to sell or rent property to anyone because of their race, color, creed, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, religion, national origin, disability, or familial status. It is also unlawful to treat tenants differently based on these characteristics. An example of this is a landlord fixing a white person's heating, but neglecting to do the same for a person of color. Immigrants and refugees in Iowa face housing discrimination at a higher rate than the general population due to several factors, including their race, language, national origin, and perceived vulnerability. This discrimination has been amplified by the COVID-19 pandemic because landlords wrongly believe that newly arrived Iowans are at greater risk for the illness due to their national origin and because of outbreaks in meatpacking plants where some immigrants and refugees work. I would like to share a story with you so that you can see what COVID-19 housing discrimination may look like in your community. There are so many Liberians that live here in Iowa, pretty close to seven, seven or 8,000 Liberians that live here. Most of the Liberians that live here came here to Iowa because of um, the economic reasons. In this economic setting here, there are a lot of jobs here in Iowa compared to other places, and that's why most of the Liberians came here to seek better living. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, I keep communication contact with most of the librarians that live here. Currently, I'm serving also as an outreach person for Genesis in the community. Most of the, the refugees didn't go to school. Those that didn't go to school and didn't have little education or none, they have language problems. Beginning of the uh, COVID-19, most of the community people are facing food problems. Most of them don't have food. I serve as, as a volunteer for house to house to serve our people with food that are, you know, that are provided by Genesis and other organizations. Discrimination in this country, uh, especially with the librarians, comes in so many forms. People come to me with, a, with problems that they face with housing, um, landlords. Most of the landlords, they always want to know how many children these African immigrants got before they could get them their apartments. And you know, most of the people that came from the, you know, uh, refugee camps, they came with their children. Some of them here, they have their grandchildren living with them. And so because of the number of, of, of children that they have with them, most of the landlords have refused, I mean, you know, to, to get them place to rent. And that has been one of the serious problems with uh, uh, the Liberian people, even the immigrants as well, not only Liberian alone, but some other Africans as well. I have not had any complaint from any of the Liberian concerning being refused, but there are other things that make it difficult for them to get into Section 8 process, especially at this particular time. Um, they expect them, they don't go into offices, they got to go online to apply. But most of the people, they, some of them, the older people that cannot read and write, ain't nobody to help them. So it makes it difficult for them to, you know, get placed into housing and stuff like that. Some of them don't know, majority don't know. Those who are highly educated, they know uh, what to do. But there are so many that do not know what to do. Even on the job site, some people, that are discriminated on the job site and get terminated for no good reason. They stay home and they don't even know where to go to get help from. If they have organizations that will be able to teach them how, you know, to do follow-up 
you know, when when they are denied of their rights and privileges, they, they, they will be able to pick it up from there. They will be very grateful to uh, most of the Africans. If you have been the victim of housing discrimination, the Iowa Civil Rights Commission would like to hear from you. You can file a complaint by phone or email. If you have basic questions about discrimination or how to file a complaint, please call us and we will be happy to answer your questions. Filing a complaint with our agency is free and you do not need a lawyer to file a complaint. All you need is a good faith belief that discrimination occurred. By filing your complaint with the Iowa Civil Rights Commission, you can help hold parties accountable who act unlawfully, and you can help the Iowa Civil Rights Commission end discrimination in Iowa. Thank you.